Yo, what is good everyone? So today I'm going to attempt to build this website that you see right here in under 10 minutes. So this is created with HTML and CSS and I'm gonna go super quick as fast as I can to see if I can do it. And you can see here just a basic site right there, nothing fancy and you can see that they switch on the smaller screen sizes. But if you were interested in seeing something that's more detailed and much longer than this, then I'll include a bunch of my other videos down below. And these are like one, two, three hour tutorials where I go super slow explaining everything. But for this one, more focusing on the challenge aspect, doing it for speed. So let's see how fast I can build this site. All right, so here I am in my code editor. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. So I'm click here, let's do index.html. Let's just go here and let's do style.css. Oh man, I'm already messing up. And let me just drag in my image too really quick so that I can get that in here. And now let's go ahead and let's do, let's do the tab here. And then let me just go in my body. Let's just do a nav and let's just do a, a logo and just call this one send. And I'm gonna try to type super fast, see if I can do this. And let's do dot nav dash items. And now it's not gonna be the super clean code, but just don't worry, it's, it'll be fine for now. And let's just say home. Let's do it three times. Let's say about. Let's do a contact. All right, now under this, this is the div. We got the nav here. Let's go under here. Let's have a section with a class of hero. Let's just do hero dash container. And then under the container, let's do a column dash left with a h1 that says send unlimited messages and then under that let's do a p tag and just say no contracts or unwanted fees exclusive offer for new customers only and then under that let's just do a button so here and i'll just say get what does that get started and then the last thing is under this column we'll just have a column dash right and then we'll just press tab here, and then it's just gonna have an image with the src of the dot slash image svg. Alt would just be, um, I don't even know, illustration. And then we're gonna have a class. Oh, I don't know what happened. Let's do class equals to hero dash image. And let me save this, and I have a live server, so let me just open this, let me see what this actually looks like, and it's taking forever. Also, I need to, okay, that looks like that. I'll kind of link this, let me do link style.css. And then here, let's go ahead and just style this stuff. So let's do the reset. We can just say box sizing, border box. Let's do margin zero, padding zero. And then I'm just gonna use the default family so I don't have to waste time. Um, where's that? Tree, tre, no, don't do this to me. Oh, come on, bro, not right now. Oh, this is, I just killed like 30 seconds, Jesus, no. Oh. Come on, come on, give me, give me some. What is it doing? Oh, here's it. Where's it at? Right here. Okay. All right, now let's do. Let's target the net. All right, so here, let's do so the height. I'm gonna do 80 pixels. Let's set the background. I have this default color of FDCC04. Let's save really quick. Okay, we got the height. Let's flex these little items here. We got a flex action. Oh no, why did it go on the new line? Let's do justify content space. I want it between. And then let's do a uh, line items center. No, come on. I'm misspelling things when I'm getting rushed. <laughs> center. Okay, let's see. And then um, padding. We'll do zero rem calc. And this is just a little formula I do to make the 104 minus 1300 pixels divided by two. All right, we got the nav majority. Let's do dot logo. And then here's have the color. It'll be hashtag zero 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 to be black. And then let's do the font size. Let's do 1.5. Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> 10 minutes is so fast. Let you, okay, let me see. Let's do font dash style. Let's do italic. And then let's do padding of zero to rem. All right, now here, it's logo. Okay, perfect. All right, now, now we have the nav A. Let's do nav A. Let's do text decoration. Let's do none. Color, hashtag zero, zero, and then padding, oh no, zero, 1.5 rem. Okay, then under here, let's do dot hero. Let's do the background to hashtag FDCC04. So we got that. All right, okay, okay, let's see what we got now. 
dot hero dash container. Let's do display grid. Uh, let's go into Talum templates. 1FR by 1FR. Let's just set the height to 95 viewport height. And then let's set the, oh, I can just copy this padding up here. Let's see if I save myself some time. All right, let's go, come on. Or we like halfway through, I think. I should be fine there. And then let's do column dash left. Let me say really quick, you can see it. And then we can just do display flex. I'm gonna say flex dash direction to be column. Let's see, uh, just by content, center, all line items, flex start, color, hashtag zero, zero, and then padding, which is B, zero, two rem here. And then we can go here and we can just do dot column dash. I'm just gonna do like nesting to below it. So we can just say like margin dash bottom, or just say what well, it's one rem. And that font size will be three rem. All right, you can save that. Looks like this. Then we can just do a column dash left of the P tag. I'm gonna say, I copy this, save me some time here. And then we can do two rem, uh, font size 1.5 rem, yeah, right here. And then uh, let's do line height of 1.5. So we save that. And then I just have the button here. We can just say for this one, I'll just pretty much put it as the, uh, let's see, Adding one rem, three rem. Uh, we're getting close. Let's see, one rem, border, none, uh, color, hashtag was it FDCC04. Uh, background will be hashtag zero, zero, and then cursor pointer. Okay, so we got the button action, and then we got a button colon hover, and let's just go here, and then pretty much let's just do background. Uh, hashtag FFF and then let's do color hashtag zero, zero and then here I think I put a border radius on here too I forgot to add oh no border dash radius to be 50 pixels and then under here we can just do dot column dash right and then I can just say display oh no don't do this to me <laughs> just my content center Oh man, I'm 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 choking. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Center padding, zero rem, two rem, and then I should save that here. And then let's do dot hero dash image. I'm gonna set this width just to be a hundred percent, and the height to a hundred percent. Save it here, and then we can just do at media screen and max width seven sixty eight pixels. And then we can just do a dot here dash container to be grid template columns one fr save it boom all right so i don't know how, how that's what less than 10 minutes but that's the most basic thing and since we got some more time i can just add a little hover if i wanted to for the a tag technically so i can just be like um nav a colon hover just say color hashtag out of f just get a little fancy and you can't really see it but there we did it. Okay, so this one was surprisingly more difficult than I realized, but it's a pretty cool little challenge video I wanted to do. So definitely, if you want to attempt this, let me know, send me your own design or any other links you did of the challenge in under 10 minutes. But aside from that, this completes the video. So if you did enjoy this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video, share this with your friends and comment down below what you think. And also if you wanna see more longer form tutorials where I go way, way slower, actually explain everything, I'll include those in the bio. You can go ahead and click on those and check them out. But aside from that, I'll see you later. Peace.